the crowds in New York are one of my favorite aspects. I, I remember thinking last year when I was coming into the race a little bit, um, you know, not quite ready for the race and, and had been injured a little bit in the, and really wasn't even sure I was going to make the finish line. I was just kind of running to see. And I really felt like the crowds carried me. It was like one mile at a time I would say, well, I feel okay now, so I'm going to keep going. And then I recognized the crowds and I'd feel the energy and it, and it fueled me. And, um, and, and that's just an exciting environment to run through. And you really, it's like when you come and run New York, the, the tour of the five boroughs is like a tour of the world. You know, this is, this is the melting pot of the world and you have everything here. And so uh, it's fun to take a world tour uh, in New York and I'm looking forward to the world tour this weekend. Yeah. Jared, you were saying if pace isn't 205, it's, you know, you think you can be up there. Is that because you're fitter or because you did so well in Boston, you can take a chance here? Like. I think I, so. I think it's both of those, and I think uh, and I think I'm I'm a little bit more confident that I can run with that pack from from the Boston experience. But yeah, you know, the training, the, my strength, I think, is as good as it was before Boston, and my speed's better. I took a, I took some time after Boston and worked out with the BYU track guys as they were gearing up for nationals, and spent some time on the track. And I think I've carried some of that speed through, and so the uh, the strength work feels easier. And um, and so I think I'm in a good position, and and uh, probably in as good a position as I ever have been to make a strike on the podium. And so I am not willing to just throw it away. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. You, you mentioned your shoes earlier.